What's up, Wise Flyers? David here. I'm going to tell you the four best hotel credit cards that offer $500 or more in value. First on the list is the American Express Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant Card, which offers a sign-up bonus of 75,000 Marriott points after spending $3,000 in three years with the annual fee of $450. You're getting six Marriott points per dollar spent at Marriott hotels, three points per dollar spent at restaurants, and flights that are booked directly with airlines and then you're getting two points per dollar spent on everything else. You may be thinking what are you getting with this $450 annual fee? So the way to get value here uh, you get a $300 credit each year so this credit could be used at participating Marriott hotels and this also includes room charges. You also get an annual free night at participating Marriott hotels worth up to 50,000 points per night. So if you're able to use that $300 credit, it brings your annual fee down from $450 down to $150 a year, plus you're getting that $50,000 annual free night that you could use at any Marriott hotel. So the key here is to at least stay at Marriott hotels one time per year in order to get value out of this card. And if you want to apply for any of these cards mentioned in the video or any other cards with big sign-up bonuses, you could click the link down in the description below. And by using our links, you help support the channel to keep making awesome content for you. And it's still free. Next is the American Express Hilton Aspire card, which offers a sign-up bonus of 150,000 Hilton points after spending $4,000 in three months with the annual fee of $450. So I know these annual fees of $450 sound like a lot, but it's important to get a lot of value out of the card. I look at it kind of as an upfront investment to get more than that $450 back in value. If you don't feel like you're gonna get value out of it, then don't get the card. This card also comes with one weekend night each year, which you could use at most Hilton hotels, and you'll get an additional weekend night if you spend $60,000 on your card in a calendar year. The way to get the most value out of these free weekend nights is to stay at really expensive hotels. So if you stay at the London Hilton on Park Lane, those hotel nights cost $450 per night. So just if you use the one weekend night, you're covering that annual fee right there. So you're also getting 14 Hilton points per dollar spent at Hilton Hotel or Resorts, 7 Hilton points. Uh, per dollar spent at U.S. restaurants or flights booked directly with airlines or through AmexTravel.com. Then you're getting three Hilton points per dollar spent on every other purchase. You're also getting Hilton Diamond status, which is the top status for this for Hilton loyalty program. It usually takes 30 to 60 nights to stay at a Hilton just to get that status. What Diamond Status gives you briefly is you get upgrades to other rooms plus free breakfast. You're also getting $250 airline incidental credit similar to the American Express Gold and Platinum card. And you're also getting a $250 Hilton Resort credit as well. So that's $500 in credits right there. If you can take advantage of them, obviously you're $50 in the green. This credit is a little more trickier because you can't use it for regular hotel fees. You would have to book through the Hilton Aspire website in order to see if you're eligible for the credit. So that extra $100 does require a little more work to redeem. Plus you're getting unlimited priority pass uh, compared to the Hilton Ascend, which only gives you 10 passes. Next is the Chase World of High card, offering a sign-up bonus of 50,000 high points. So it's split into two tiers. You get 25,000 high points after spending $3,000 in the first three months. You get an additional 25,000 high points after spending 3,000 in the first six months. So essentially you spend $6,000 and you get 50,000 high points. This card does have an annual fee of nine $95. And out of all the cards on the list, this is the one I love the most. In my opinion, Marriott and Hilton points are diluted and it's hard to get a lot of value. Hyatt points, you barely even have to try to get three cents per point. Those Hilton points go a long way and are super, super valuable. For example, if you wanted to stay at the Park Hyatt Vendome in Paris, it would cost you 30,000 Hyatt points per night. And those rooms cost 900 or more per night. So right there, you're getting more than three cents per point to stay in a luxury hotel like that. I recently used Hyatt points when I went to Orlando to go to Disney World. And for three nights in the Hyatt 
Orlando Convention Center Hotel. It cost 24,000 Hyatt points, but if I were to use cash for this same stay, it would have cost $864. So for those three nights, I was able to get 3.6 cents per point uh, by using Hyatt points. Plus, another great perk is gym memberships. You don't really see too many cards offering two points per dollar spent at gym memberships. Then it's one point per dollar on every other purchase. And with this $95 annual fee, you're going to get one anniversary award certificate at Hyatt Hotels categories one through four. So obviously, you want to go for the highest category hotels to get the most value. I recently got this card, or not recently, but I got this card back in November of 2018, just when it was announced that it was going under the 524 rule, and I'm super pumped whenever I use this card. Plus, if you spend an additional 15,000 on this card per year, you get another anniversary award night. You get high discover status with this card. So when I stayed in Orlando with this card, I was able to get uh, early check-in and late check-out, which is one of the perks of discover status. And the next hotel credit card, which is kind of debatable and questionable as a hotel credit card, but it would be the Capital One Venture Card, which offers a sign-up bonus of 50,000 venture miles for spending three thousand dollars in three months with the annual fee of 95 dollars waived the first year you can use this for hotels and airbnb uh what's great about these miles they're basically points but they call them venture miles is that you could just make any purchase you want and go into your account and erase that purchase you could also use it for airbnb or boutique hotels so this gives you this card gives you a lot more flexibility another reason why i included this on the hotel card list is because if you book uh, hotels through hotels.com you'll be earning 10 venture miles per dollar spent there and this benefit is only good until January 31st of 2020 this card has no foreign transaction fees plus you're also getting the global entry and TSA pre-check credit of hundred dollars so that'll help you uh, cutting the security lines in the airports there are plenty of other hotel credit cards out there let me know in the comments below if i missed any and if you want to watch any more videos on hotel credit cards you could click this playlist over here it talks about other great hotel credit cards and how to get a lot of value out of those points i recommend clicking that link right now and i'll see you in the next video